Hi everybody, Joe here. Hi, I'm Dee. And this is Canada, Canada at the, the movies. movies. We just got back from seeing Inside Out 2 literally like a couple minutes ago. <laughs> so um, it's starring Maya Hawk, Ayo Atabiri, um, Amy Poehler, and Louis Black. This movie, tell us what this movie is about a little bit. Yeah, so it's a continuation of the first Inside Out. We're following Riley um, as she's entering puberty now and puberty comes with a lot of big complex emotions and so we're introduced to new characters it's <laughs> it's cute it i is. enjoyed it <laughs> these new characters are new emotions new emotions yes the new yeah. characters are new emotions and they create some chaos and tension with the older emotions <laughs> sarcasm <laughs> Yeah, so it was a really good movie. It was really good. It was cute. It was, really cute. Um, it was animated the same as the last same one. Same style. Mm -hmm. um, and the plot was a little different because, you know, Riley's a little older. older. Mm -hmm. She's got these friends now, mm -hmm. um, you know, because in the last movie, you remember her not really, mm -hmm. like, knowing anybody. Getting, and, fitting in. And yeah, because they, they just moved. They just moved. Yeah, so she's, you know, going into high school now. Mm -hmm. So... We skipped a lot we of her some life. Years. Yeah, yeah, we skipped some years. <laughs> but um, I think that, you know, just with the um, introduction of anxiety into the picture, just chaos. It was glorious chaos. Glorious <laughs> chaos. Um, I think that it was, uh, as far as like the plot goes, I think that it was solid. Yes. What do you think? I think it was really solid too. I like the way that they introduced the. Um, the newer emotions because it literally was like a night and day difference and yeah. that's how puberty is it feels like it's a night and day difference um, Construction <laughs> We're gonna take a break <laughs> <laughs> You're not finished yet Oh, <laughs> uh, we know we'll be back <laughs> And they never came back <laughs> Nope <laughs> Just left everything there Oh, but it, it I I like the fact that um, so the, the the focus really is on this new emotion of anxiety and what it causes and what it creates if it's allowed to grow and things and I like the fact that it kind of gave an inside view of people who suffer from anxiety where it's just it's you get into a spiral and once you're in that spiral it's just more and more and more chaotic and chaotic and you really need help in order to kind of break that cycle yeah and over planning oh my god that was that spoke to me i am an over planner by nature yeah <laughs> And I'm definitely a go with the flow type of person, uh, so mm -hmm. it's like it's great that we're together. It kind of yeah, we balance each we other balance out, it. yeah, because <laughs> I can just go and do stuff. And she's structure, like, structure, <laughs> structure. <laughs> but um, there were also some uh, lessons for joy as well. Yes, I the the takeaway that I really got from that is again. Um, toxic positivity is not going to save you. If anything, it's going to do more more harm to you because you have now created a false sense of self built from this um, this toxic positivity. Yeah. Also, good sign. We went and saw it in IMAX. We did. And the movie theater was mostly full. kids. <laughs> well, it was mostly kids, mm -hmm. but it was full, it and was. that's something that I haven't seen in a while. It was, in a while, I think yeah. the last one was. Yeah, it's. Because even Furiosa wasn't full like yeah, that. Yeah, even Furiosa wasn't as full as that. So I expect a great deal of money coming in for um, Inside Out this Yeah, this time around. Yeah, yeah. perfect perfect time letting out the, the a week after school. Mm -hmm. Let out and everything here in Greensboro. So great timing. Great timing. Um, so, you know, some of the kids were funny in the movie. Um, the, uh, you know, the whole idea of over-practicing over planning over planning over preparing yeah <laughs> and trying to get people to like you and stuff basically dismantling yourself in order to to fit in and how yeah. that just in the end does not work never works never works so d uh ultimately what score would you give it and would you recommend it i highly recommend it especially for parents who are getting ready to enter um, that stage with their kids that there, there's some big big emotions and big feelings that, are, that they're going to be working through um, I give it a solid B um, because it was good I enjoyed the first one a lot more though yeah I have to give it a B plus um, just because there was no bing bong 
R.I.P. Bing Bong. R.I.P. Bing Bong. Though there was, was there back. was a great nod. I don't want to spoil it, but there is a great nod to a '90s character that was just amazing. A couple '90s characters, <laughs> yeah. So if you're into video games and into, um, <laughs> if you're into video games and Nickelodeon Ooh, and stuff, there's some nods in there for you. Yeah, it's great some, when you see it, you're like, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. That was for me. That was for us. That was for us. I don't think the, the other kids got that. No, That was no. definitely for us. Mm -hmm. So I've been Joe with Canada Movies. Please click that like, share, and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell. Ding. And this has been D. Bye, y'all. My fine wife. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Bye.